John was out with us last year as a uh, junior, but was we were fortunate this year to have John come back out and distinguish himself playing on our specialty teams, and was also our backup center, and it did take some pressure. People don't realize how little things can be have a, play a big part in the overall picture. Because the young man that we had playing in center, we ultimately had to move the linebacker. And believe me, the only reason we were able to move him the linebacker is because uh, John Paul came out, John Masterfield <laughs> came out, and I'll tell you why that story is because when you're playing a program like us, you get nicknames down to the point where you forget who the youngster really is. Uh, but by his coming out this past season, we were able to feel that should this young man come down, John would be able to step in and then carry the uh, responsibilities out of position. That's John Master. <laughs> big man, big man, little man. When it comes to this gentleman, what can you say? This Tremendous happen. Watch the Always has been. Then he stepped into uh, yeah. Maryland High School, plays three sports. In football, the question was, will he ever be able to play for us? Will he ever be big enough and strong enough to handle the rigors of playing varsity football? Probably the smallest youngster in the, uh, in the entire league. But I'll tell you this, if it comes to heart, and it comes to an individual who at any given time can make a big play, he made three or four this year that was crucial in us continuing from season from game to game for the successful season that we had. It's Ronnie White, who is our split end line.
and in the league this year, he was recognized by the other coaches for a young man capable of doing all the things you ask of anyone that plays that particular position. You often get youngsters who are great, big, strong kids who can take kids off the ball, but uh, John was able to trap, he was able to block man on, he was able to pull and lead to the outside, he was able to full block, X block, and uh, we, we do a lot more with our climbing than a lot of schools. John Reese is a tremendous leader, a tremendous young man. Not that he leads by his mouth, but he leads by example of the work ethic and a young man who uh, defensively and offensively is a major force in this year's program. That's John Reese. This is our nervous, this is the nervous guy on our team. Joey Bayloni, on the morning of a game, you may not be able to talk to him. He's hyperventilating. <laughs> We're trying to calm him down so that he'll be able to function and not run out of the stadium. Uh, we started the season off to play Joey at a defensive halfback. After the first ball game, we recognized that, that was a mistake because while he's supposed to be back there, composed, calm, reading the offenses, looking for him coming down the field, he was all choked up and attacking the line of scrimmage and looking to hit people. We made a move right after that game and moved him up where we took those pressures away from him, freed him up to be as physical as he wanted to be playing the game, and the results were astounding in that he just came on and got better and better from week to week. And needless to say, he had one of the biggest jobs of the year, and that was to contain this quarterback, Sassano from Burgerfield. He did a tremendous job. It's Joey Bayman. as his counterpart, Danny, are two of the most versatile backs that I've ever coached. This is Jerry Davina. Jerry was a running back who ran for over 1,000 yards. He had 17 pass receptions for another 370 yards. He threw two TD passes. He caught four touchdown passes. When you talk about triple threat, he was that this year. He passed the touchdowns, he caught touchdowns, and he ran for touchdowns. Jerry is an example of a young man, like his teammates, with hard work and dedication, overcame size. We're talking high school football today, for kids in that range of 150 pounds, they usually don't attain the level of success that these youngsters here did with us this year. He worked very hard all summer on the weights, running, getting himself in the best of shape possible. He came back to have a year that's unbelievable, and we'll talk a little bit about that after I said something about everyone. That's Jerry Bedina. <laughs> 